So recently I was just going through some of the videos that Satya Anush had put out and as usual even after all these years of like you know uh, being exposed to the information on the internet this fellow is simply making the same claim again and again that wherever there is increase in religiosity there is a race in crime clear indication anamata crime rate takku ekkada undi anedi prapanchamlo ekkada ekkada undi crime rate takku anukunte religiosity chaala takku unna deshallo crime rate kuda baaga takku untu vaala daggare atyadikam atyadikamaina mm-hmm. happiness index undi least amount of crime undi highest crimes ekkada unnai ante wherever religion is supreme yes akkada crime ekkuga undi this is clearly indicated okay. Okay. for this he actually quotes this particular uh, scenario that we find that you know uh, when you see the survey of uh, uh, prisoners in a federal prison just federal prison in usa there are also other prisons in usa which is, which is not being taken into consideration but forget about that in the federal uh, prisons we find that the number of uh, religious people are more uh, so he starts concluding that wherever there is religiosity there is increase in crime i have already countered this nonsensical claim elsewhere and even the friendly atheist who put out this particular uh, study first of all in the in the internet sphere has said that this is not proof that religion is the cause of criminality or anything of the sort but he just showed that there was some kind of a correlation uh, but for uh, satya and vishy it's not just correlation any correlation which involves religion and negative issues will be a causation uh, he will say that religion is the cause of this crime again when i say this he will retract back and say no 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 i'm just saying it is a correlation but uh, but everybody knows that this is the kind of an implied thing that he he proposes in his live stream constantly if you are religious person you will automatically become some kind of a evil uh, criminal that is a kind of an idea that he has even though he doesn't say that and he will probably deny it that, that, that uh, openly also so with that being said recently what he said was that wherever there is religiosity there is increase in crime and wherever there is secularism there is happiness index is more i don't know what kind of a nonsense you are supposed to do with happiness index he, he seems to think that it has any kind of meaning at all you know the, he suppose, supposedly suggests that the people in scandinavia are having, having high happiness index and that is because of atheism here again he is committing the fallacy of correlation is causation he doesn't uh, consider any of the other factors that are involved in that happiness factor including the uh, social security the political stability uh, and all those factors and he also clearly forgets to inform you people that the uh, second most common cause of death in the scandinavian countries is suicide the thing is you cannot take two variables and try to say that this is the cause of that by just using a bivariate analysis you need to have study what is the sample size you need to know what is religiosity there is something called as intrinsic religiosity there is extrinsic religiosity what religion what region what is the political status what is the economic status what is the social status what is the educational status so many things has to be considered in trying to compare what is the relationship between religion and criminal behavior all of that is being completely ignored satya anush will will use a bivariate data which is not being studied by any sociologist any anthropologist he will make opinions out of this just like that so to to make my point i'm just going to quote a couple of uh, well researched studies published in uh, you know peer reviewed journals secular journals uh and there are only two findings in the study either that there is no relationship between religion and criminal behavior or there is a negative relationship between criminal behavior and religion if there is more religion there is less crime there is a kind of a conclusion that we have again i, I understand that correlation is not causation and even the sociologist and atheist uh, proponent you know phil zuckerman who did this study he studies the only study which is which tries to prove that you know religion causes the crime of course many of the data that he uses is miscued and there are people who have opposed it and put out videos in youtube and they have also written articles in public in journals to counter that kind of a claim uh, but nonetheless even he admits you can study his uh, article and see that he himself admits that there is no causal relation between religion and criminal behavior there is just just a correlation so you need to understand that correlation is not necessarily causation and a bivariate analysis of any topic is irrelevant as far as research is concerned if you have done even the slightest of modest degree of research you will not understand that using a bivariate analysis is meaningless and useless it has no value whatsoever so let's go into the studies if you want to study it yourself you can go to google scholar and search religion and adolescent delinquency religion and criminal behavior 
religion and racism religion and uh, violence you can study that you can you can have uh, hundreds of topics hundreds of articles published in peer reviewed journals you can study and you will get the clear conclusion by yourself you don't need to depend on what satya and is saying or what i am saying so coming to the first topic we have this uh, article called religiosity and crime revisited accounting for non believers this entire study was really about talking about uh, uh, the criminal relation between uh, atheist agnostics and their criminal behaviors so it is not even talking about religious people but he makes a note about what is the relation between religion and criminal behavior uh, in many any situations if you see here the relationship between religiosity and crime has received considerable attention in the criminal criminological literature all the early evidence of the association between religion and crime or delinquency was mixed with some research showing no effect between religion and crime and there are multiple studies that is showing and other research showing a moderate relation moderate negative relationship between religiosity and offending the current consensus is that the negative relationship between religion and crime is genuine and consistent this this article is not even about religion and criminality but even then he is making this point that the current consensus among the scholars is that the negative relationship between religion and crime is genuine and consistent the current general conclusion in criminology is that religiosity is negatively associated with criminal offending and that the deterrent effect of religion is stronger for non violent offenses and substance use when you are talking about non violent offenses and substance use religion is definitely protective so this is also something something that you need to be considering merely saying that religiosity is associated with uh, criminality is of no use what crime what type of crime is it violence is it some interpersonal issues or is it something else uh, is it something about like civil crimes something of those of those sorts none of those details are given by satya anvesh coming to the another topic another article buffering effect of religiosity on crime testing the invariance hypothesis across gender and developmental period first line itself studies ex- examining the protective effect of religiosity on crime are frequently rooted in the assumption that the impact of religiosity is invariant across socio demographic differences this study systematically examples the very first paragraph itself it will help us in understanding what this whole article will help us in our case here here the study was done on uh on a sample size of adolescents 90000 more than 90000 and young adults more than 93000 so you can see the sample size of the study here he says that the results indicate that the protective relationship between religiosity and criminal behavior such as adolescents and young adults this study provides support for the validity of the invariance hypothesis as the protective effect of religiosity on criminal behavior was consistently observed across important socio demographic differences across socio demographic differences and age differences there is a protective effect of religiosity on criminal behavior it is well established that religious engagement serves to deter youth from involvement in anti social and criminal behavior b r johnson h e coing king and carson so many studies are there indeed systematic review of the religiosity literature points to the consistent identification of the protective effect of religiosity on crime and suggests that this deterrent effect is moderate in size it is not mild or insignificant it is moderate in size moreover an extensive body of scholarship indicate that such effects can be identified both in terms of public participation in religious services and privately held religious beliefs beyond direct effects beyond direct effect research also suggests that religious engagement serves to moderate the deleterious effect of a variety of key side co social risk factors like peer pressure prior attitude attitudes behavior stress and strain sensation seeking and exposure to community violence on problem behavior simply the body of evidence seems to point to a straight forward empirical conclusion that more religion is associated with less crime coming to another publication which is also available freely on internet all of this is freely available on the internet man i'm not trying to like quote mine from some random christian apologetic website or anything this is available on the internet go to google search google scholar and study all these topics yourself i don't need to even do this myself you can do it if you are a rationalist if you are seeking truth you will do this yourself rather than like accepting whatever satya anush is saying in this contemporary issues in criminology theory and the research the role of social institutions he concludes the scholar concludes that finally our updated systematic review suggests the beneficial 
relationship between the religion and crime is not simply a function of religion's constraining function or what is discouraged opposing drug use, violence or delinquent behavior but also through what it encourages promoting pro-social behavior it not only decreases the anti-social behavior it also enhances the pro-social behavior failure to consider religion variable will cause researchers to be needlessly short-sighted in establishing models designed to explain its direct and indirect influence on anti-social as well as pro-social behavior so we have quoted three studies now we will go to the last study this is a meta-analysis a meta-analysis is what they will do is they will collect all the research articles that have been published in a particular period of time and try to make a common conclusion based on that so when I quoted this particular article to Satya and Vishy, he did not read it he did not go through the article he did not say anything but he started accusing me that I was quoting from some kind of a Christian scholar or something or this meta-analysis was miscued yes it is possible to miscue this meta-analysis but what evidence do you have on your side to prove this or what evidence do you have to say that the religiosity is cause of criminality there is no evidence presented from your side but you will start accusing everything that is being pointed as an opposing point to your viewpoint so this journal of research in crime and delinquency if you love me keep my commandments a meta analysis of the effect of religion on crime about 60 studies 60 studies published from 1969 to 1998 was considered not one or two study but 60 studies was considered and they were analyzed you know what kind of religiosity is being studied everything is in the in this in this article i cannot go through the details if you have any doubts you can always email me and ask me i will explain to you what the issue is so the main conclusion of this is these findings show that religious behavior and beliefs exert a significant moderate deterrent effect on individuals criminal behavior deterrent means it reduces that is what it means if you don't know you can go and check the dictionary so in the in the discussion conclusion this article says that in this article we have analyzed the effect of religion on crime as reported in previous empirical studies we examined data from 60 studies and we found that religion had a significantly statistically significant moderately sized effect on crime of about r is equal to minus 0.12 so there is you can say that in this moderate it's not very much moderate that's fine 0.12 is not so great that's fine but there is nowhere, no study significantly showing that there is some kind of a correlation between increase in religiosity and increase in crime. There is no such study. Except for Phil Zuckerman's miscued data, which I can show that it is miscued if you want. Other than that one study, there is no study that shows that there is some kind of a positive relationship between religion and criminality. All studies show that where religiosity is increasing, criminal behavior, drug abuse, selfishness altruism will increase all these things are all negatively correlated for more details i have also explained this in another video you can go and check that out uh, the link is in the description you can check it out so with this kind of a data i have shown four articles including a meta-analysis which has 60 uh, articles within it which shows that religiosity is negatively associated with criminal behavior i want satya and to show in what basis are you claiming that religiosity will increase criminal behavior if you don't have evidence then you should admit that you are a charlatan and you are lying that's all you can do